In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an easy DIY, sort of budget-friendly, retractable hose reel for your pressure washer setup. So stay tuned, guys. We're gonna walk through the components of this, how it works, and then show you exactly how to put this together. Now, if you missed my last video, I did a similar thing, similar setup, but this is an Amazon Basics uh, air hose reel that I converted into a pressure washer hose reel. Same thing here. This is an air hose reel that we're gonna convert. Uh, this thing retails for 40 bucks, so this is gonna be your most budget-friendly option. If you haven't seen this video, I will link it up here for you guys. Also include it down in the description for you so you can piece this together as well. In that video, I did a diagram uh, so you can see all the components, and that's no different. In today's video, we have another diagram. But make sure you really pay attention to this. I'm going to include this one here for you guys. And again, this is for the retractable hose. It's a slightly different setup than the Amazon Basics one. But as always, all the components are gonna be listed down in the description below so that you guys can get them without worry. Just go down there, see what's in the links, click on them, takes you over to Amazon, you can buy whatever you need so that you can easily piece this thing together and get it working. Okay, so overview of this thing. Why is this so cool? Well, it's so cool because it is retractable, meaning you're out using your hose, pressure washing your car, whatever else you need. Give it a little extra pull, comes off the hinge and retracts itself right back in so it's easily stored very very quickly and easily so as you can see here i'm once again using the uh uber flex hose this is a 50 foot hose with m22 connections this is where it gets a little confusing most pressure washer hose reels and things like that are set up just for our normal connections or quick connects not for an m22 so we're going to be showing you all the components that are needed uh, as you can see here this is your water inlet i have it hooked up to a quick connect Water inlet, then it comes out here to your hose. Your hose goes into the reel itself, all the way through to the outlet here. This is where your pressure washer gun will go and you're off and running. Now this retractable hose reel is built quite well. As you can see, these nice big metal teeth here. And this is where, as this rotates around, you'll see that little sprocket on the bottom. Let's see if I can get it to grab here. It's a little hard to do this one-handed, but I'm gonna do my best. So here we go. And as you can see, it's gonna click over and as it clicks over, you could stop it. And it's got a, quite a few teeth, so you can stop it at any of those points. And then once you want it to retract again, just pull it forward again, it loosens up, and then it'll retract right away. Now this hose reel actually comes with an air hose installed on it. And the first thing you have to do to get this thing set up is remove that air hose. Uh, for me, I didn't need it at all, so I just, I tossed it. Um, but it's nice that they give it to you if you want to put that, use that for something else, very, very cool. Now this thing is great because you can mount it just like this and have it extend out from the front. You can mount it upside down. If you want to have it coming off of a, a roof structure, you can mount it against the wall. Just make sure you have enough support there to do it, but it's very, very easily. Just has these bolts right on the bottom or access points for bolts right on the bottom. Um, just get the necessary hardware that you would need for your application. Now with that said, let's go ahead and jump into how to set this thing up again. Uh, the list is here. This is the component list. I'm gonna have it all linked in the description for you. I'm gonna put a picture of it up here so you guys can freeze this, really kind of get an understanding of exactly where the components go in what line. Um, and then, like I said, everything will be corresponded down in the description by number to exactly what is on this list. Okay, so first things first, you have to remove the uh, included air hose reel. Now, when you do that, it, it seems like they use some sort of a Loctite on the thread, so it's a little bit hard to get off. Very, very simply to get that to break is just apply some heat to it. I have a little torch here, just applying some heat onto that component, then grab a, a wrench and be able to pull that off, no problem. It loosens it up, so it make, makes it so you can break that loose. Now the next step is because this is a quarter inch connection point, just like on the budget-friendly Amazon Basics ones that we did, uh, because this is a quarter inch, we need to use an adapter. Again, right here on the list um, as number four, and that is going to be a uh, quarter inch to an M22 by 14 connection point. So we'll just apply some thread tape to that, screw it in, get it all tightened down, and now there's an M22 connection point for us. Now when we remove the initial air hose that came installed on this, uh, it actually has this little bracket up here, which is really cool. On this, this hose is a little bit thinner, but it has this little piece, it's a little stopper, so that when it comes here, it stops in place and you're good to go. You could apply something to the hose, uh, just you know, wrap it with some tape and then apply this so it stays in position. I don't mind that it's loose, it's not a problem for me. I just let it be loose, use it as is, and then it'll still stop as it goes in. Now when you go to uh, install the Uberflex hose or any kind of hose like this that has an M22 connection point, the hole in the side of the uh, hose reel here isn't large enough for an M22 connection to fit through. So you do have to drill that out. So in order to get that done, I used a one and a half inch 
bit here so you can screw, uh, just go straight through the edge here. Before you put the hose in though, you do wanna take a file and file this edge down so that it's not gonna cause any uh, damage to the hose over time. You want that to be nice and smooth, so make sure to either file it down, sand it down, whatever else is needed. And then finally, I like to take some touch-up paint and apply it to the edge just so that it doesn't leave bare metal because water is going through this thing all the time. I don't want any bare metal exposed, otherwise it could rust out. So apply some, t uh, some paint over the top of that. And then you can go ahead and feed your new hose into the lineup. Then, as I said, I like to take the little stopper piece off the other hose, install onto this hose so we're good to go. And then I take a basic uh, quick connect. Again, everything's linked in the description for you guys here. Um, so nice quick connect so you can apply, uh, uh, plug in your pressure washer gun really, really fast and easily. Now let's move to where we hook up the water, right? We need a water source, otherwise this thing's nice and pretty sitting on the wall with no waters going through it. And that spot is right here. And there's a little plug on this hose reel at least where you can you, you pop that out and then that's gonna give you access. So that's gonna be another quarter inch connection point. So just like where we installed the hose uh, adapter here, same exact piece guys. We're gonna go quarter inch to M22 once again. So now that we have an M22 showing, we can take a basic quick connect. Uh, again, it's the same ones that come with here. So uh, when you buy the kit, everything is kind of included with these. So I'll make a note down in the description too, so you don't buy too many of them. If you buy the kit, it should cover everything, but I'll make a note in the description for you guys. So we just take the uh, male connection point of a quick connect, screw it onto there, and now we are good to go. So then we can apply our leader hose. This is going to run from the pressure washer itself into the pressure washer hose. Just think of this as an extension of the hose itself. Uh, so this runs into the pressure washer and then the pressure washer will be hooked up to a, a water source as well. Running into the back of the pressure washer, this is in the front, running into the hose, goes out and you're, you're working nice and quickly. So just like with the other one that I did, I'm gonna take this up to the front of my shop, hook it up to the pressure washer and just show you guys uh, the case where it, you know water's actually going through it, it's fully pressurized. We're not gonna get any leaks. As long as you're using thread tape and getting all that stuff situated perfectly, you're not gonna have any issues. Um, so here we go, let's go to the front of the shop. All right guys, so here we are. As you can see, it's really nice. I can pull the hose all the way out and create tons of space for myself really, really easily. I'm gonna go ahead and fire the pressure washer on now and as you can see, I'm just kind of looking up close at all the components and there are zero drips. This thing is completely watertight, totally good to go. You don't have to worry about anything like that. This thing is set up uh, and ready to work. Now, one thing to know is when I was going to retract this back in, I extended the hose completely out as far as I could. Because of that, it caused, it, it passed the point where I could get it to return. I would actually have to come up and do this manually up at the hose reel itself, then it would loosen and go all the way. So you just wanna make a note, don't extend it all the way, just give it a little bit of space so that you can still pull and then have it retract on its own. I filmed a little part of this while it was happening, so I'm gonna to cut to that here, so hopefully that kind of explains it a little bit better for you. All right guys, so here's an update. If you extend this out too far and then get it stuck, um, not stuck, but have it where the teeth grab, when you try to pull again, this isn't gonna have enough angle to be able to do it. So you would have to come back get it to release here and then let it go. So you just wanna make sure if you're using the, the teeth there, you wanna make sure you stop it before it's completely, completely unwind. See right there. And then that way, if it's there, we can pull and get it to release. So that's it guys. This is the easy DIY, semi-budget friendly. These hose reels are more expensive than the Amazon Basics one but you do get the retractable feature, which I think is super, super cool. Also, depending on your space, these are nice because they're very, very narrow. Much taller than that basic hose reel from Amazon Basics, but um, I like the narrow side of it. You don't have to worry about a handle because it auto retracts on its own. Uh, one last thing I want to note is when I bought this one, I can't remember what I paid for it, but I just looked it up on Amazon now and I think it's 150 or 180 bucks. Uh, there are some cheaper options on there. So I'm going to link those ones down in the description for you guys as well. Um, with this one, I want to make a note. I was able to adjust the arm position on this just by loosening up these four bolts. Some of the other ones don't have all those four bolts, but they are still maneuverable. So you can adjust it to however you want. If you have it mounted down on a table like this, this is perfect. But if it's mounted, uh, against the wall, right? 
then it's pulling downward and you wouldn't want that, right? The stopper would be down. So you'd want to position it back up so it feeds out straight. So just pay attention to that and set it up however you actually need it to work. Um, but again, the one I'm going to link down in the description along with this one uh, will have that option where you can adjust the arm. So one final time, here is the diagram. Again, I'm going to flash it up and just let it sit here for a little bit so you guys can freeze the frame and, and really sort this out. But that is it for today's video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are interested in this, check it out. It's a great option. Or if you want a uh, cheaper option, check out the one I did using the Amazon Basics Air Hose Reel. Again, that'll be linked down in the description. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.